morning. Hello, Father. Where is the Santa? On Sion. Is there a body? Gloria to me. Don't escape me. Just one day. Yes, sir. I'm the part of the Spirit of Santa. How do you feel now, Peggy? Oh, much better, Father. All the oils have revived me, same as last time. <laughs> the last rites are not medicine, Peggy. Dr. Brady's your man for that. Ah, he could never cure me. I don't know what I'll do when you're going back to Rome. The Latin prayer, Father. Ah. Or Amos. Para nostro quiescent cielo santo vicerto nomen tuum, ad veni ad nec nom tu ad viatum in trans tua, sicur in cielo ed in terra, alum nostrum quotidianum danum de sol. Snow's bad up here. It's only yourself and the worm enabled for a day like this. Thank you, Noni. God bless. Thanks very much, Father. the Almighty working through the mind of man. I know some of you are still wary of these machines. Don't be. Electricity is one of the great blessings of our time. Illuminate to them. Lumen. In thy light shall we see light. Amen. Amen. I lean the floor is yours. Right. Well, we're going to start by learning how to bake some scones. You sure that thing is safe now? Oh, don't worry, Catherine. It is as safe as your range. Safer, in fact. And much, much cleaner. What do you think, Miss Courtney? Well, it doesn't do anything that the range doesn't do. I'm planning to get one for the parochial house. It would be my parting gift to you. Thank God we live to see the day. Am I right, Brendan? <coughs> Modern conveniences, properly supervised and used to the right purpose, can be a great help to our people. Isn't Brendan sounding more and more like our beloved De Valera every day, Emmett? <laughs> <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. Look at that. Magic. me father I have sinned it's been a week since I've been in confession I said a bad word three times momento per favore um what we have to remember about Gregorian chant is its utter majesty ah it's done with love amore it's done with affection. Affecto. So. Affecto. 
Let's go at it again. One more time. Expecting the good news soon, then, Father? I am, Miss Courtney. Please, God. Please, God. Like to come along, Father. I will. I do, Grace. I trust that everything is still in order for my return to Rome. Ah, yes, Rome, Father. Do you really want to go back there? Oh, I'd dearly love to complete my thesis on St. John of the Cross. You were happy enough to leave Rome at the time. A dolt of an Italian brought right in over your head. Isn't that what you told me? I hope I didn't put it like that. In any case, I've been here for three years, Your Grace. Being an Irish parish priest is not a penance. I'm sorry. You consider yourself to be an intellectual, don't you? Well... You do, and you are. A cut above us plain mock savages. No, no, Your Grace. Oh, that... yes. I'm sorry, Father Barry. It's going to take longer than I thought. They're a law unto themselves over there in the Vatican. In the meantime, help me to build a new church in your parish. A new church? Yes, it's time. Holy Trinity could use some repairs, but it's still a magnificent... Oh, office. it's not worth doing up. Better to start anew. You should be very good with money, Father, having spent 20 years in America. Could you not pick up the knack? Picture it, standing tall and majestic, the biggest building in the whole town. Thank you, Sean. This is what needs to happen with every parish in the diocese. Let's give light to the notion that our country is stagnating. I see a vibrant, holy nation on the move. How much have you raised, Father Keenan? 4,860 pounds. It's a start. Very good, very good. Ned? Now then. We need to get going on the funds. This raffle will get you started. Once you start the fundraising, it'll snowball, and Rome will be there for you after the job is done. Father Barry, have we forgotten something? If you were to ask for my opinion, I would say that Rome is too far away and that you've been there before, but that would be me. Hello, Joey. Hello. Joey, you look after the shop. I want to go upstairs for a minute, okay? Yeah. Nice little town. It's soft enough for you. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. It's fine. I'll take it. But that's if I get the job, of course. I'll need you to pay weekly. Oh, that won't be a problem. I can give you a week in advance. Good luck with the interview, then. Excuse me a minute. Thank 
what's going to happen when Daddy comes home for Christmas? Where is he going to sleep? Where he always does. Mr. Lynch won't be here. He'll go home for Christmas. And she, her father, will be home by then. You be all right. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's a week since my last confession. I took the Lord's name in vain last Thursday afternoon. I was envious of my neighbor's new belongings. What sort of belongings? An enamel bucket and a bright red plastic basin. Ah. Is there anything else? Yes. I committed the sin of pride. I thought I looked lovely in my new skirt. Do you have any... Passions, Mr. Du Bois. Passions? Hobbies. Oh, sport. You play hurling, don't you? Yes. I've had a number of temporary teaching jobs in Dublin. I'm ready for something more permanent now. And why Boris, Mr. Lynch? Oh, why not, Mr. McSweeney? From what I hear, it's a town with a lot going for it. You're 27. Uh, 27 last month. You don't look it. Uh, that's what they tell me. And what did you get up to in Dublin? I know that'd be telling. I have very wide interests, Mr. McSweeney. Uh, music, sports, the pictures. Oh, Dublin was great for the pictures. I was impressed, by the way, to find out that Rex Ingram's people came from around here. Who? Rex Ingram. The uh, famous filmmaker who went off to Hollywood. You know, the Protestant director's son who went off to become a director. What's your favourite Ingram film? Well, I haven't seen them all. I like the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, of course, but I have to say I have a very soft spot for the Prisoner of Zenda. I think we've heard enough. We have indeed. Congratulations, Mr. Lynch, and welcome to Boris Kane. Oh, thank you. I think that was a bit hasty, Father. Especially as you're leaving us soon. I've decided to stay amongst you a bit longer, Brendan. I knew that would make you happy. Miss Courtney said I'd find you here. She thinks I need an audience. A new lens for the projector. I wanted to see how big an image I could get. The parochial house is not the best place to show films. And the church is. Just wanted to say thanks for the job. You settling in all right? Yes, thanks. Very well. The Dome of St. Peter. Have you been to Rome? No, sorry. The Vatican Library. I lived and worked there for years. The bishops decided I'm not to go back there till I build a new church here. So what's he like, His Grace? The bishop likes building new churches. He has a countryman's passion for concrete. 
Fontana di Treve, one of the most beautiful plazas in the world, I think. You know, there's a legend that if you throw a coin in the fountain, you'll return to Rome one day. That's my coin. But they say the money goes towards good works. Well, I'd better be getting back. All right. Well, uh, thanks once again, Father. Most of these Hollywood stories and the manner of their telling are alien to our Gaelic culture and way of life. Hard work and family commitments are put aside to give way to debauchery and sin. It is therefore of the utmost importance that we preserve our own native stories, customs, and games, and insofar as possible, reject the doubtful and often downright maligned influence of what is not native to us. Yours sincerely in Christ, Terence Hegarty, Bishop of the Diocese. The Bishop's Pastoral will be published in next week's paper, of course, so you may read it in detail at your leisure. Now, may I remind you once again that we are making very little progress with our building fund for the new church. Could you please give generously today? Thank you and God bless. And now, please stand for the credo. Credo in unum Deo. God bless you. Thank you, Father. I do you suppose the electricity supply board might consider throwing a few shillings our way for the new church? I, I don't know. I mean, the board gets so many requests for sponsorship. Ah, they do. But I'm a great supporter. In fact, I think sometimes they should be paying me for helping sell the cookers and blessing the power lines. <laughs> I'll inquire, Father, but I can't promise anything. Ah, thank you. Tim. I enjoyed your film show the other night. Did you ever think about showing your films at the hall? What do you mean? I'll put them on a double bill with a good western. Ah, good, good. Good way to pass the winter. Jim, God bless you. Sorry, Father. Hey, fun. Hello, John. Lad? Ah, uh, that's all I've got. She's taken a haul off me father. I'll have one ticket for her. Thank you, mate. Pity you're not him with the GAA crowd, father. They'd be a great help with the fundraising. Mar, with the G. Right, son. No interest in the game, father. <laughs> they didn't go in for the hurling in Rome, huh? No. The last priest we had here was great as the GAA. Mar, I'm alone. Thank you, Liam. I hear you're not leaving us after all, Father. Not for a while. Aren't you better off? Isn't the world outside our shores in a calamitous condition these days? And what would you know about it? No more than myself. Oh, well, I was able to read the street signs when we were over in London. Didn't have to go around sniffing the air like a lost mongrel. Hey, who's a lost mongrel? You came back home soon enough with your tail between your legs. a good to come back And so we come to Boris, where progress has been rather slow. Isn't that so, Father Barry? It is, Your Grace. So did you get the raffle underway? I did, but it just hasn't taken off yet. Stingy crowd in Boris, are they? No, no, Your Grace. There just isn't that much money there. But they still want their new church, don't they? Ah, they do, of course. So what other plans have you? It'll soon be the start of a new year, and we need to keep the momentum going now. Pictures. You what? I was thinking about having a picture show. Ah, uh, shows. Pictures? Ah, your films, I see. Father Barry's a dab hand with the cine camera. I have it he picked up over in Hollywood, I think. <laughs> Catholic University in Washington is hardly Hollywood, Your Grace. Father Barry spent 20 years over in the land of the free. He's a real wayfarer. So do you think they'll part with their pennies to go and see your little films? Oh, not just my films, Your Grace. I was thinking of hiring, you know, proper films. You've read my pastor a letter on that topic. Oh, I have, of course. Of course you have. Well, provided they're suitable. And now to care. 
We'll put a brand new modern screen here, of course, as large as we can fit in. There'll be rows and rows of raised seats at the center, Pullman seats, the sort you find in Dublin, with aisles on both sides. Have you given any thought to the effect these pictures will have on people? Oh, I have, Brendan. There'll be a source of enlightenment and entertainment to young and old alike. Bishop Hegarty might not agree with you there. You shouldn't presume to know the bishop's mind. So this has Bishop Hegarty's imprimatur. Imprimi postus. Sensor laborum non postulum. The bishop is a plain speaking man. Now tell him you said so. <laughs> and why is he present? He's not in the committee. No, but it was his idea. Now, naturally, the projection room will be up there. And Des, that'll be your responsibility. And Willie, you'll be the one to advise on the building works. I have serious moral objections to this enterprise. Would a good confession help? There are people in this town struggling to put bread on the table. And what are we offering them? A picture house. The soul is fed by many things, Brendan. I can find ample food for my soul in the church, Father. So, what do you want to call it? The Stella, the star. You could call it the Garden of Allah, in honor of Rex Ingram. shaving mug. What's it do? Heats water. We are waiting for it to heat up. That's all. Uh, well, it's not selling too well. I don't really know why. Well, it's ready now. Oh. Best shave you've ever had? Perfect. <laughs> I'm your auntie's guinea pig. Everyone will soon have hot water on tap. Why would you use a thing like that? People like shiny things. I suppose it could come in handy if you're out someplace. Like where? Out in the fields, you just plug it into a rock. <laughs> I better go. I might take you with me next time I'm trying to sell that thing. See you later, Mom. Come on, Joey, you come with me. How does it work? What? Congratulations, Brendan. We might be seeing you in the National Parliament soon. Ah, that'll be the will of the people, Father. Ah, the will of the people, of course. And the will of God. All I know is that the place is in sore need of stewardship. That'll be the cornerstone of my election campaign. Father? If you pledge a regular amount, you'll be a sponsor. With your name in the program. And that's good for business. All proceeds go to the cinema fund. They do? Put me down for one pound ten shillings, so we'll see what happens. You're a hard woman, Charlie. I'd need to be, Father. You do well to be a bit cautious yourself. <laughs> Thank you, then. God bless. God bless. Thank you for it. 
you have glasses, no need to talk to another pair. Do you have a real drink under that counter? I think you've had enough already. You think you're something, don't you? Better than the rest of us. Now that the priest is getting at your show. Glad you could take the time to join us, Brendan. People don't have much to give these days. It's a means to an end. This is how you got round the bishop. I leave. Would you like to dance? Yes, please. Look who Ireland's with you for that. I hear from my son that you're a good teacher. Well able for life in a small country town. Look ahead. Ten years, twenty, fifty even. They say the world might end in the year 2000, but if it doesn't, what will this town be like then? It's in our power to shape it. We need young men like you. Would you ever think of joining the party? What's brought this on, Brendan? I think you could go far. That Eileen, she's a nice girl, bright, but she needs to settle down. So. I bet now you'd rather be at home listening to Renata Tibaldi singing on your gramophone. It's been a great night. Between you and me, I'd swap it all for a few bars of artisan. Jazz. That's matter for confession, Tim. Hey, 150 pound. We've barely 270 in the restoration fund. And Brendan McSweeney isn't going to let us touch that without a fight. I mean, 800. 850 pounds, Des. Don't be afraid to say it. If we don't move now, we won't be open for Easter. And, of course, there will be ample opportunity to show films of an educational nature, handcrafts, beekeeping, butter churning, safety first, and so on. The Stella will be a font of knowledge. And what about the filth and immorality, Father? There'll be none of that, Julia. Well, I think we should give it a chance. All I'm saying is once something like that is turned on, it's hard to turn off. Brendan is against it, isn't he? I'm saying what I think myself here now. It's nothing to do with Brendan. Sure, we'll know soon enough if we're being corrupted by the beekeeping films. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's not films about beekeeping that they're queuing up to see in Nina. Here on the edge of Europe, on the edge of the world, the people of Aaron live and praise his name, daily putting their trust in God. This is a sacred place. The bishop sent it down, thought Father might consider opening the Stella, was it? I'm giving it serious consideration. That's the last of the Italian coffee now. Aye. Right. Thank you, Miss Courtney. You still want to go back to Rome? They made a 28-year-old the head curator after I'd been promised that position. He was Italian, of course. Well, I still have my pride. So you kicked up a bit of a fuss? Oh, I did. And I ended up here. The truth is not to be found in our bright and sinful cities. Could have been worse. Mm -hmm. Could have ended up in the Iron Islands. The truth is here amidst this chaste people. We should strive to make the whole world like that. It's a pity you didn't devote more time to the bishop's pastoral last Sunday. People can do that for themselves. As you well know, the majority, unfortunately, are either too illiterate or too indolent to sit down and read an important document like that. The people need to be educated, to be told. After hundreds of years of foreign occupation, we finally have the freedom to fashion a country of our own making. Safe and self-sufficient. St. Patrick would have had a hard time with you. St. Patrick? Wasn't he an outsider? St. Patrick wasn't trying to sneak in Hollywood filth. You need to get the people fired up. They're crying out for a guiding light. The light of hope. The glorious future that belongs to you, to me, to all of us. St. Francis of Assisi. Charlie Chaplin.
the great dictator. Disappointed you didn't get home for Christmas? Well, she'd be grand. I wanted my sisters, cousins, aunts, they'd have no room for me anyway. The Ram, the Ram, the king of all boys, Stevens, his name was Pat in the park. All but the king laid down the pad, gave me a penny to marry the Ram. Hand to penny, a hefty will do, a hand to hefty, God bless you. be home for Easter. Hello, Father. God bless the work. Remember, man, thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Remember, man, thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. Doesn't it look great? What about the holy oils while you're at it? I can't keep anointing you for the same illness, Peggy. But it's a different illness this week, Father. Okay, so Noni, here's the on switch. And the six different heat levels, one being the lowest, six being the highest. It's very simple. Try it, so. Well, now we have to wait till Jerry's finished connecting the wires. All done. You're now connected to the national grid. Oh, no. Let Father Barry be the one. And say a prayer now before you do it, Father. I've got them prepared. Yeah. Grant, O oh Lord, we beseech thee that the light enter no, in this house. No, no, Father. Speak your lovely Latin. Gloria, Patria, Filia, Spiritus Santo. Secret erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. 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 Are we ready? Is there really another life, Father? Ah, oh, Peggy, of course there is. What is heaven? Well, heaven is the face of God. And where is it? We know where we are, but we don't know where we're going. Isn't that it?
Yes, I dare you. No, you can't. Do it. Joey's afraid. So leave me alone, Bert. What will you do about it? Do you think your daddy in London will hear you if you shout? And is this the the whole six at the back? Da 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 come on. Thank you, baby. Come on, Frankie, let's go. Watch this. My daddy used to work here too, you know. Before he went to England, he made things no one else could. Can I go now? You can. But you may have to become a priest now. If the hat fits. But it didn't fit. And I'm only nine. I wasn't much older than you when I got the call. Who called you? Well, who do you think? Himself, of course. Well, how'd you know? Did you see a light or something? No, no, no light. Just happened, but I knew. Oh, thanks, lads. Was your mommy happy when it happened? Ah, she was, of course. Did you hear a voice? I did. In a manner of speaking. <laughs> In your head? From inside me, yes. What did it say? What did what say? The voice from inside you. It said, come, follow me. But it was the voice of God, all right. Let's go. Right. Walk it in. Walk it gently. Now. <sighs> say the word. Oh, it's now or never. Soon your, your fridge will be there, your washing machine here, your electric clothes dryer over there, and, and a hoover under the stairs. <laughs> Invisible heat, constant, always under control. And that's the beauty of it. Isn't it great that we've seen the day? You play outside, Joe. Well, thanks a million, Des. Anytime. Come on, son, you can help me carry this stuff around to the hall. Hold the door open for me there. Well, how do I look? Perfect. Jane Wyman and all that heaven allows. <laughs> I didn't see that one. It makes everything else in here look so old. Does that include me? Maybe not you. I want it all now. A fitted kitchen like you'd see in a picture. Sounds silly, doesn't it? Dreaming of an electric house and look at the state I'm in. Last year, before you, before all of this, I was perplexed at what the future might hold for me. Ah, uh, Bishop Hegarty's new church. Do you ever wonder if you chose the right path in life, Tim? Every morning when I face the little monsters. Ah, you see, you're allowed to say that. I'm not. Brendan has won the election. His election speech. I want to make education and the moral welfare of our young people my number one priority. 
I'm referring now to a misguided plan to open a picture house spearheaded by a member of the clergy. Precious time and scarce resources are being wasted on, etc., etc. I have had complaints from some of the parents. I have to remain neutral, not antagonize any section of the community. You have to stand up to cretins like Brendan. It's not that simple. It is. I'm sorry, Tim, but it's not. It never was. Father, if you could maybe try to bring him on side before he gets to the bishop. How blind can people be electing someone like that to high office? It'd make you question the very idea of democracy. People like Brendan capitalize on fear. The people, they're afraid of everything. There's not a grain of confidence left in the country. But you're still more powerful than he is, Daniel. You have the authority of the church. That's still the last word. It's about responsibility, Tim. It isn't about authority. Oh, but it is. You're the parish priest. You can do whatever you like. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's a week since my last confession. I took the Lord's name in vain last Thursday. I was late for Mass on Sunday. I lost my temper. No business saying that for your election speech. I'm not without influence, Father. You shouldn't dismiss people like me too lightly. Power is a very fragile thing. It can slip away when you least expect it to. Is that a threat, Brendan? Can you not see that we're on the same side? You've had three long years to establish your authority here. You have signally failed in that task. You leave me no alternative but to bring the matter to the attention of the bishop. You may bring the matter to the attention of the Pope for all I care. The bishop is a man who cares about the moral well-being of the Irish people. I've spoken to them in Dublin about the projector. Don't tell me they don't have one. Oh, they have one, all right, but he's wanting payment. Half now and half when it's delivered. There's no trust left in the country. It's more than we have any account, Father. Then we'll take it out of the church restoration fund. We'll put it back later, with interest. It would be open every night of the week with a matinee on Saturday and Sunday. It might even help keep him out of the pubs. And do you know how much the almond and Nina brings in every week? All I know about the almond is that I have to check the paper every week to make sure they don't show any filth there. You won't have that problem with the Stella, Your Grace. And they're for this picture house, your flock. Oh, they are. The majority. Oh, majorities, minorities. That sort of language is not within our realm. Your Grace, most of the Irish people are still a hair's breadth from paganism. And the picture house will make them more God-fearing? In a strange sense, it could, yes, as a modern tool to help civilize them. Mind you don't break that statue. I won't break it. I think I have a calling. What? From the Holy Ghost. I want to be a priest. I hear your confession. That's the first duty of a newly ordained priest. I think that's communion you're thinking of. I hear confession too. You will not. Joey. You're nine years old. How can you know what you want to be? What put all this into your head? I heard a voice inside me. What am I going to do with you, huh?
perfect. Don't make it look too perfect now. pounds, four shillings and seven pence here tonight. What the fuck is all this about? Which brings our cinema funds to over 1,200 pounds. We're well on course to open the Stella on Easter Sunday night, please God. How to close them down in London, cinemas. TV is the big thing now. 17 inch. Is he? He's a lodger. I'm a school teacher. A lodger? We don't have room for lodgers. I had to make room, Jimmy. I needed the money. The prodigal, the return. Welcome back then, James. Good to see you. You're coming with me! Jimmy! Why didn't you tell me about this? Tell you? I didn't even have an address for you for months. I knew the minute I walked in that door and saw you. And you shame me in there talking about money. I only... So how long has he been fucking writing you? I think we better get you home now, James. Are you staying one or two? There's no right to be carrying on like this, Jimmy. There's nothing. Get... Oh, oh, God. God. You got the Brady down here. I'm all right. You're back two minutes and look what you've done. Look at that cut here. Fuck off, you. Oh, lovely, the teddy boy language and all. Come on. I don't want to go home with a whore. Go home with your wife now, James. You can't tell me what to do. I'm not afraid of priests anymore. Or sour old craw thumping cunts. Get him out of here. Fuck the luddy. I met Naomi Cassidy in the shop, Father. She says Peggy's not the best. Wants you to go down and see her. Not now. Well, your anointing oils. Yes, Your Grace. Tell you, Des. Bye bye, picture house. Des! <laughs> lunatic! He's turning to a lunatic! I'd say McSweeney blew the well, Never mind Mac Sweeney. He may be a TD, but you are the most powerful man in that community. Your authority must be unquestioned. Unquestioned! You told me the cinema would have a civilizing influence. Instead, we have chaos. Now, I've been told 
that you are buying magic lantern machines and spending money left, right and centre, all paid for out of the church restoration fund. Yes, Your Grace. How much money have you spent on this business so far? About a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? Yes, Your Grace. Do you know how much concrete we could buy for a thousand pounds? Do you understand what we're about at all, Father? This is a constant, never-ending battle for the control of hearts and minds. And it's a battle we could lose. Maybe not today, nor tomorrow, but... We have to keep one step ahead of them all the time. Poor Peggy's gone. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. I'm so sorry for your trouble, Nonny. Too late now, Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Is this Jeremiah? No, Father, that is Daniel. Ah. What do you want, Daniel? Nothing, Father. Well, away with you then. to be Joey's mummy. Oh, oh, oh. 
You're murdering it. Can you not listen to one another? Can you not do it for each other? Can you not do it for me? Can you not hear yourself, Julie? Clearly not good enough for you, Father. Oh, and Father! Did you hear your teacher friend got the sack today? Is it true, Evan? Yes, Father. You had no right to do that. With respect, I am the chairman of the school board. No one is dismissed here without my approval. It was an emergency meeting. We tried to find you, but Brendan McSweeney. That craw-thumping ignoramus has no authority to dismiss anyone. Tim, go back to your classroom with my apologies. Father? I will not see an innocent man's name discredited by a spineless coward. With respect, Father, I don't think this is wise. Thanks for standing up for me like that. It's been a strange few months. You never know the way things are going to turn out. I've been very happy here. I. Living there with her. She really didn't believe at all. Peggy Cassidy. All the years, all the prayers. It was only fear. I'm trying to say that. That young just... priest in Rome who was promoted above me. He was, in fact, a brilliant scholar. But my pride wouldn't allow me to admit that. God forgive me, I hated him for his youth, his clarity. And I know I'm mocked behind my back here for my Latin and my lingua italiana. They think it's all a put on, but it isn't. I was taken out of the world when I was 12 years of age. This is such a desperate place, Tim. I thought it might be real in some way, but it's just damp and poor in every sense. I don't know what would have become of me if you hadn't been here this winter. To have someone to talk with. At that time, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, and a great crowd followed him. Then he went up on a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming towards him, he said to Philip, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? Philip answered him, Philip answered him, it would take more than... <coughs> Recently, someone asked me, where is heaven, Father? I told them that 
heaven was the face of God, but I knew that they were looking for something more familiar, a place. We seek comfort in what is known, it seems. And sure, didn't our Savior himself tell us that in my Father's house there are many mansions? For my own part, I believe that heaven dwells in our humanity. And that is why it is so wrong to judge others. There is a young man here among us who was recently scandalized by idle gossip. This is the sort of rash judgment that tears apart the fabric of a community and that, that makes us distrust one another. What's the ultimate? <clears throat> then slowly but surely we begin to see clearly the simple fault in our neighbor while we remain blind to the great fault within ourselves. It's like watching a man hang himself. Tim, they sacked him because of that fight. The thing is, Jimmy was right. Right? About what? What are you trying to tell me, Molly? I think I fell in love with Molly. Tim. Does he know about this? Of course he does. We. Change is coming to this country, Daniel. Our holy church will not be in second place much longer. Believe me now, you will have great power and influence in this land very soon. Father Daniel Barry. I'm very sorry, I'm not hearing confessions right now. I'm not here for confession. Please go away, Brendan. I don't know where your place is in the world, but it isn't here, Father. You don't know us. You don't know what we need. For three long years, I have tried to explain my people's wants and needs to you. I foolishly thought we were on the same side. I could have been the saving of you if you took my advice. You have put yourself above the needs of your people. Go home. There is no priest here.
am with. If you're looking for the captain, he isn't here. And if I'm not looking for him? He still isn't here. Well, I'm looking for him. You know where he is? I haven't the slightest idea. Perhaps he's in town on business. That's the way you put it the other day, isn't it? That's what I like about you, Sergeant. You have confidence. And also what I dislike about you. It's not confidence, ma'am. It's honesty. I just hate to see a beautiful woman going all to waste. Waste, did you say? There's a subject I might tell you something about. I know several kinds of joke? waste, Sergeant. No, I haven't. You're probably not even remotely aware of some of them. Would you like to hear? Joey. For instance, what about the house without a child? There's one sort for you. Then there's another. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Is that what you want? I don't know, Sergeant. I don't know. Try talking to Daniel. Try to tell him. Just kept talking about himself. He knows. Dad! What are you doing? <laughs> Dad, shut down the projector. And who was it who opened the cinema? Well, the seats were delivered and they sent a roll of film down to test the projector. Been sacked. So you want to leave? He certainly has, Benny. Lost my job. So you want to leave? Daddy had to leave because he stabbed Mr. Lynch. Is that true? He was drunk, Joey. He didn't know what he was doing. Well, that's it there, so he's never going to come home again. Joey! You are breaking the law of God and man by watching that rancid abomination. I never knew it could be like Shut that. Shut it down now! Nobody ever kissed me the way you do. Outside Nobody. our holy and beleaguered island no. is going to hell. Nobody. And now you can see why. Not even one. Elizabeth Taylor! Out of all the men you must keep fight. storming heaven to combat the evil American How filth lapping like a mad dog in our safe. Can you give me a rough estimate? It's Deborah Carr, not Elizabeth Taylor! Shut it down! Joey? 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 Yes, Father? He didn't even bother to come home and see me when he came home last time. He just got into fights and said, fuck it, and walked away to England. You're upset now, but you shouldn't use that sort of language. He used to work here once. I know he did. And he used to make things that no one else could make. No, he couldn't. Mr. Dillon had to sack him because of his drinking. Even Frankie says that, and it's true. Shall we go home now? What did you hear when God asked you to be a priest? Well, God never asked me to be a priest, Joey. You were lying. You weren't called. I was called, all right but not by God. Well, 
I'm not lying. I've heard the voice of the Holy Ghost. Joey. And I'm going to be a priest, and I'm going to stop people doing bad things. Credo and Deum Patrum, Omnipotentum. Joey, listen to me. That is not the right thing for you to do now. It is, and it will be sin for anyone to stop me. No, Joey. Joey? Joey! Thank you for finding him, Father. Everything's going to be all right now. But you said Jeremiah had been called by the Holy Ghost. Well, the Holy Ghost has changed his mind. I think that perhaps you might have known all along that it was you being called, Daniel. No, I didn't. Well, it's all settled now. I need Jeremiah to help you run the business. I think that deep down, Daniel, you always knew it. I can almost see the Holy Spirit shining from your face. I'm sure you can feel it. You will be so special. There is no greater love than that of a people for their priest. And you'll make me the happiest mother in Ireland. Thurlis has a very busy little cinema. Average take there is about 150 pounds a week. Ross Cray, the classic, 200 pounds. And the Ormond and Nina? Oh, they do best of all. Average weekly take there is over £300. What? Sometimes more, depending on the film. Will that be all, Your Grace? No. Get me Father Barry down here now. I have a cousin who has a diocese in America, Long Beach. I was out there to visit him in the summer. Aren't supermarkets extraordinary in the States, Father? Mm. Oh, now? Rome shrinks when you walk into a supermarket in California. <laughs> Maybe a stained glass window here to catch the morning light. Not much ornamentation. It should be imposing, yet functional. Modest, in a majestic sort of way. More Le Cabusier than Michelangelo, then. You what? I'm nothing, just... Uh, I think I know exactly what you want, Your Grace. Ah, yes. Yes. I suppose you're wondering why I asked you to come here. You may remember a while back, talking to me about illumination. Tools to civilize your pagan flock. Oh, well... I, I think I get your that. logic now. Maybe we're closer to them buckos in Hollywood than we care to admit. Your picture house might be just the thing in the current climate. We need to keep one step ahead of them all the time. Ahead of who? The world, Father Barry, the world. The dark forces of secularism. This will be the gable. Chancel there. Nave here. High altar there. Father Barry's little picture house will pay for all of this. Hello, Molly. How's Joseph? He'll be grand, thanks. About him wanting to become a priest. I just want him to be happy. He's far too young to know, Molly. I'm not going to fight with him. I never knew what to say to my parents when they came to visit me in the seminary. I just wanted them to take me home. They sat there and talked about the changing of the seasons. By my second year, we were already lost to each other. I never should have come back here. You wanted to come home. I did. Right, that seems to be it here. 
I'm not sorry it happened. It gets so dark and lonely here in the winter. I shouldn't be saying any of this to you. No, maybe you shouldn't. I know you wouldn't understand, but it was love. How do you know I wouldn't understand? I'm talking about real love that two people can feel on this earth. I don't, I don't mean God's love. Neither do I. It's what's missing in this place. It's what's missing in this whole bloody country. In the evening of life, we will be judged by love, and by love alone. You said that. <laughs> A lonely old saint. Recommendation. A good one. I wasn't expecting that. Why? You know very well it's impossible to get a job without it. It's true. Uh, maybe I wasn't cut out for the teaching. There's a local election coming up down my way. I thought I might throw my hat in the ring. You think a politician's life will suit you? Won't know till I try. Should go to Rome next winter, huh? Somewhere where there's light. I would if I was you. Goodbye, Daniel. God bless. Bishops don't bless picture houses. Did you ever hear of one doing it? He's a bishop. He can bless anything he feels like blessing. Well, if the bishop's there, you have to be there. I know. One day they'll see their folly. Where have you come, my Philip? Shut up! Bless this building and all those who use it. I grant that the activities that take place here will build up a spirit of order amongst the community and lead to the well-being of all our citizens. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. So are you winning them over out there along the dark and rural byways? I think so, slowly but surely. It's a hard old slog. Ah, it'll happen, Eileen. It's hard to argue against the brilliance of a 60-watt ball. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Are you going back in? I think I remember how this one ends. I'll see you later. 